Hello, this is Tam the Tam BOTC channel. Right now I'm using a temporary mic till I get the one from my friends. Tell me how it sounds and let me know. But I'm going to do a review, stop turning your dang head, of No Man's Sky Dexed. Woo! This is a, I guess it's a kind of a late review of No Man's Sky too because I'll be talking about both of them. It's night here, time here, and I'm really fast. Gotta go fast, guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's get serious. So, hello. Uh, no Man's Sky next. Has this game improved over the time? Has it become a better game? Well, partially. Definitely better than Mass Effect and Drama, am I right? Anyways, Mass uh, what this game has improved on or stuff like you can see clearly my I can customize my character but you can also play other races and it will also like you can change the camera perspectives whenever the graphics have also been updated but as you can tell it is night time uh, base building is improved a little more because there's a little bit more to it there's more in it I can create whatever race and if you go in like first person for example you can stink in uh i don't know if this will mess up my uh t what i created no but uh you can pick tons of different races and such and there's different customizations the reason i'm not changing is only because i'm gonna lose my progress no but whatever. You can put up ton there uh crafting and such is done is uh made a little bit more valuable. Um so is mining, even though the only problem is uh it's basically the same game with a few improvements here and there, but now with multiplayer and it is a cool experience to finally see another player but on top of that right now i'm not playing online though um so sorry about that but yeah um once you meet another player it's quite a great experience but and you can start parties with at least up to four friends i believe and it is fun for a while and i definitely say it'll outlast sea of thieves with the fun you can have your own fleet, spaceships. I have like three spaceships with this sinking character right now. Uh, you can play different modes, creative, uh, survival, or hardcore like survival, and so on. Is base, and you got a lot of like elements of other games that you would really love. Minecraft, Fallout 4, with like the building setup. This is my little base. Uh, there are tons of planets, one of the biggest open world game, like, open galaxy slash universe games. There's tons of creatures, I discovered some creepy ones, especially in my previous couple episodes. I'm still on that planet too, by the way. This is where it is, I stationed myself and I'm building. But I've been trying out this game to see how it is, and it does still have problems. Uh, there was a reviewer, and though I haven't had this, personally I haven't, I have had the game crash on me a couple times. But there is another reviewer who talked about how the game crashed on him 11 times within 6 hours. So yeah, that sounds crazy. But I did have, during my video, the game froze for a good long time and the only way to get out of it was to close down the game. It was really annoying and frustrating and I did not like it. So whatever and the game does have frame rate and lag especially when I'm building or especially times when I'm flying through space. How am I supposed to expect when the game's thinking going to freeze on me? Sorry. <laughs> I heard the mic peep. But uh, anyways it's it's a really sticking, uh, there's a lot of improvements. And think about some of the things when it comes to it, even though either whether they're crazy or not and the dedication they put into actually making this game kind of live up to what it was originally promised to be. Also think about it, the fact that they made a ton of money from this and they could have been able to do that anyways afterwards, so they would have been greedy. But I think it, also, another he thing to keep in mind again is that if they told the truth and told it as it was, 
we probably would have just been disappointed and had the really bland game anyway. And they, people probably wouldn't even think to bother to ask or say the problems that they had when they did feel that they lied. I'm not going to say that specifically they lied, but it's really up to your interpretation and perspective of it. So with the with the improved graphics, it definitely is a nicer looking game. I like this planet in specific. Oh my goodness, giant spider monster. Um, there are enemies, a lot of really cool environmental hazards. I like the survival mode. Owning your own fleets and the spaceships. There's a lot of improvements here and there, but a lot of it's like still tedious and repetitive. And it's basically doing the same stuff, but with friends. Like, a lot of the missions come down to there's a rescue operation, or the rescue someone, or there's a situation where you just mine a certain amount of minerals of whatever that type they require. Uh, the NPCs just kind of stand there. They're kind of boring. You still learn words pretty much the same way, where you have to purchase... Uh, learning words through sticking, uh, d purchasing with different materials as well, minerals and such. Uh, I don't know if this is new, but, um, I remember you had to shoot these to pick these up, but if it, if it's not a new thing, then, uh, just picking them up by walking up and holding, then, yeah, whatever. Uh, but I thought it was something that felt different from when I originally played. And, of course, you can interact with different animals, you can feed them and such, if you have the food to feed them. Uh, yeah, and it seems like there's a ton of people. If you have, like, landing pads, a ton of different NPCs will come to your landing pads. Also, if you have a uh, beacon set up as well, then people will come. This is my spaceship right here, by the way. Cool, right? Yeah. Sexy. Smexy. <laughs> I think I prefer that word. Smexy. No, but, um... Yeah, there's... There's a lot more to it. I don't know why the crud these doors are here. They're just kind of random. Um... There's a lot more to it, but see, I'm having a frame right now. Uh, yeah, I do think the skyboxes also could use some work. Because they are a little doofy. <laughs> and the, you won't always get like a really good planet, and the creatures are still kind of goofy too. The UI is a little bit more improved and looks not a little nicer than it used to, as well as you got all these vehicles too. I have a couple of them actually set up here. Uh, there's a couple of good vehicles. Why are you stepping on my base? My base. <laughs> no. Now I got a giant spider monster stepping on my. Oh, okay. You got. He got unstuck. Kind of. Oh, okay. I guess he's not really like stuck. He's just an idiot. You're a dink. Creepy spider thing. Yeah, but there are some cool uh, creatures, but most of them are still kind of goofy. <laughs> I haven't really run into a planet where there's like... And, and like, once again, the reason I like stuff like Skyrim and such is for the personality and uh, the world building. And even though this game does a decent job, it's just not that strong of a job. You see these are some of the vehicles. You do control the vehicles mostly through um, using the thumbstick, the left thumbstick. So it's a little weird, but once you get used to it, it's, it's fine after a while. Um, I don't think this vehicle really has much, just it's a really fast vehicle. You can traverse the land. It's not my favorite vehicle, though. So yeah, I think my favorite is that one right there. Whoops. Of course, you can't collect minerals if you stink and run them over. But yeah, you basically do the same mining stuff. There is new weapons and such, and the space combat's improved better uh, from what, what it was. But you still got stuff like frame rate, lag, here and there. And then you got crashes and stinking uh, uh, glitches here and there, like the one you just saw. And you got other such problems like me freezing. So this here's a, this is a big heavy vehicle. It's probably the most weighty vehicle of the bunch. But it does have like kind of a mining laser on it. You can do this. You can also use it for combat. Uh, you can get into... Uh, there are various enemies, but a lot of them amount down to like... Uh, 
these weird little crab-like creatures that I've seen, and weird tentacles that come out of nowhere. There's a lot of clipping of the monsters. I saw that. I saw you clip through that. But yeah, um... And sorry if I do repeat things also when I review a game. I'm hoping that you, uh, please tell me how I do with the review uh, of games, as well as, uh, I'm going to, re I usually repeat stuff if I, like, kind of lose track of where I am, and I try to use that as a way of getting back on track of where I'm doing, because I'm kind of, I'm kind of improvising what I'm saying a lot of the time, and that's probably not the way you should be going about a review, by the way. But I, I do know what I want to say and when I want to say it for the most part. So, as well as gathering my thoughts, and especially, like, when it comes to games like Evil Within and such, and I don't think it's really a fair way to re of reviewing, uh... Usually when I'm angry about something or really have a deep frustration or hate for a game, I'll, 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 it'll just really come back to me and I'll be able to be, feel more confident at least of reviewing something. And I'm not saying I'm not confident with this, reviewing this, but I'm saying that sometimes I can feel nervous and like it'll throw me off, even if it's scripted. So... And I have a script. I scripted my Destiny 2 review, and I was still kind of nervous. But since I already had kind of a hate for that game, it it still felt like it balanced it out a bit. So with this game, is it better? I definitely think it's pr improved. No Man's Sky before was a very boring, bland game. Uh, it was repetitive, had the same missions. I also have to say about the story, it's pretty much the same thing. There is detail and a n nice lore and stuff about uh, a lot of these, the travelers and such, which sounds a lot like stinking um, Destiny now that I think about it. But uh, there's a lot of cool lore. Um, but a lot of it just doesn't feel like you're going to be as invested compared to other uh, sci-fi games so it kind of falls under being a little generic and the personality is more in like the look of the game rather than the feel and the characters themselves so I, I really don't think that the game's personality uh, is really truly there whatever you would consider it um, I consider personality in how the characters a interact with you and the worlds that you're on and such and that's kind of probably going to be a problem that I think Fallout 76 might have there's more into that and I'll make a video on that some other time but yeah um, I think the game's definitely improved there's a lot of games where that same thing has been said and you want to keep a lot of things in mind that, of course, it's going to get better, but that doesn't mean that you should probably still buy it, which I'll get to that, too. But, um, yeah, a lot of games have had that same reasoning, or, in other words, I like to call it an excuse, because it, it literally is at that point in time when the game should have been good to start with. We had the Division, the Destiny games, uh... You got so many dang games that this stupid excuse has been used for, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I do like the improvements, but once again, keep a lot of the stuff I did say here in, in mind. But yeah, they did a good job. I'll give them a clap. A couple of claps for that crud. Uh, what the game was before... Besides all the tedious repetitive missions, that's considering both the side quests and the main quests, and the fact that the, a lot of the NPCs don't feel as lively, once again, they feel very robotic and generic and samey. There are a lot of different NPCs, but also a lot of the recycled NPC characters, not the names and such. But, of course, there is, like, naming of creatures and worlds and such, and I think that's to change when you, uh, you're in the like with other players around multi in a massive multiplayer world and i think a lot of the reason that the game's going to have lag and frame rate and all that even though i'm not playing in a multiplayer server and i still have those problems i think that a lot of the multiplayer to no man's sky is probably what really like messes with the game but you can choose to be in uh several people's worlds but i still think it contributes to how uh why the game crashes and such is like your connection with other players and so on. 
But yeah, a bunch of different factors could come into that. But please don't walk into my, my uh, base again. Tech Nabby is going to do it, isn't he? But yeah, um, sorry if I'm boring you with just all this background stuff. Watch my laser gun, which looks kind of like a uh, stinking Nerf gun, if you ask me. <laughs> Let me ride this vehicle around. One of my favorite vehicles. It's, it's nice and smooth, and it looks pretty cool. Yee! Uh, what? Oh. But uh, originally, I would give the game, when it originally launched, a 5.5. It was really gen generic and bland. Now, I would give it a 7.6 out of 10. Because it's definitely improved, but once again, it probably should have been that way in the first place. I also don't think it's worth 50 bucks. I got this. I didn't pre-order this game or get it when it originally launched. I got it when it was on sale for like 15, maybe 20 bucks, and I really didn't. I didn't invest my time enough without just getting absolutely bored. So basic. Oh, there's a tentacle right there. Um, but basically, investing your time with friends is just basically... It's kind of like No Man's Sky being bored on your own. Now you can be bored with friends! But no, that's my overall rating. There's some more stinking frame rate and such. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Tell me how I did. Uh, I would always love the criticism and feedback on my videos to help me improve in the future and I will be talking about next time in my next video hopefully on Fallout 76 and another bot that came out to use as a comparison known as Fallout Miami for the fall a Fallout 4 mod that I hope would come to console but I have a feeling it's just gonna be on the Steam version so see you guys next time bye bye